The film begins, showing a war raging all around. The soldiers of the US Army are busy fighting the enemy here and at this moment, the enemy destroys one of their helicopters, causing chaos. As a soldier attempts to manage the situation, he turns around and discovers that his friends were killed in a strange manner by a bomb attack. They had piled up like mud neither their blood came out nor their bodies were there. Before this soldier could understand anything, there is another explosion here which makes this soldier unconscious. When he came to his senses, he found himself in a jail. He did not remember what happened to him, who was here how he came here. He tries to remember everything and as he gets tired of all these thoughts and shouts loudly, a girl sitting in the jail tells him to be quiet and tells him that if he does not stop shouting, both of them will die. This soldier looks out of the jail window. There was devastation there. The girl sitting in the jail tells this army soldier her name is Nadia and says this destruction was done by the robotic aliens attacking our world and if you do not stop shouting, they will find us and come here and kill us. The local gang has kept us captive here. Gangsters also come here during their conversations. Surprisingly, this soldier understood the language of the gangsters. He tries to deal with them but these gangsters were ready to kill them. Meanwhile, the soldiers engage in combat with the gangsters. During the skirmish with one gangster, this soldier falls out of a window while the other gangsters go to Nadia's jail and try to misbehave with Nadia but Nadia snatches a gun from these gangsters and kills them both and gets free from there. It turns out that she is an army doctor that's why she was able to escape from this bad situation. The soldier outside who was still fighting the gangsters now kills him with his gun. He was the leader of the gangsters. This soldier killed the leader of the gangsters. Seeing this, the other gangster from behind, when he tries to attack the soldier with his electric device but surprisingly, the soldier was unaffected, but the man holding the device gets shocked and dies. The soldier was surprised and did not understand what had happened. Suddenly, he sees that there is a chaos and people are running here and there because the alien was coming from the front. The same robotic alien who had attacked the ground and this soldier sees the alien for the first time. He also escapes from this alien and hides behind a car but surprisingly, this alien scans him and leaves without harming him. Immediately after the danger subsides, the soldier rushes to the police station building to rescue Nadia where the gangsters had kept her captive. He sees that Nadia has freed herself. Nadia asks him his name here but the soldier does not remember anything. Nadia now tries to see his name on his uniform, which was half torn. There were only two words written there, Bo. Nadia says, your name is Bo from today. The soldier now tells Nadia that we will go to the American base but Nadia says, there's no point in going there now. Everything must have been destroyed but when this soldier insists on going there, Nadia has to support him unwillingly. They also move forward using a car standing here but someone attacks them on the way. Their car crashes and it falls to one side. It turns out that the attackers were Kenyan soldiers who wanted to kill Bo by seeing Bo because he was a soldier of the US military. Kenya thought that in this world, the reason for the arrival of drones is only the US military because thousands of their satellites are in the sky. Their drones and US military based antennas are controlling all these things. While the rest of the world has lost all kinds of connection. Before the Kenyan soldiers kill them, the Kenyan soldier who is standing near the US soldier takes control of him. He takes control of the gun in his hand, kills his two companions and makes him a prisoner. Now they move forward with these soldiers' cars. At a great distance, they see that electricity poles were laid in the way which worked as a fence for these alien robots so that the alien robots could not move forward. They could have taken another route from here but then they feel that a robot is behind them and in order to save their lives, they have to pass through here. At a distance, their car breaks down and they find out that the robot is still following them. They both hide and a man and his daughter come in front of the robot. The robot mercilessly kills the man and this hurt them both. Before the robot kills the girl too, Nadia shoots the gun and the robot looks at her. Tihi robot scans them, but surprisingly, still refrains from attacking. Instead, it turns around and ends the girl. They both could not understand why the robot left them. They now walk ahead and at a distance, they hear someone's voice. As they follow the voice, they find out that voice was coming from a radio and now suddenly, some people come out of here and capture them. They discover that this voice was a trap for them. They want to tie them here with something and then suddenly two bikers pass by them and behind the bikers, the robot was coming here, which was already following Bo. He understands that these people have used him as bait to lure the alien here. As the alien comes here, they attack him together. One person throws a chain on him, while the other person shoots him from behind and tries to kill him. This robot falls here but it was of no use because two robots had come here and to distract them, the bikers quickly run away from here to the other side. The robot also follows the bikers and go away from here and taking advantage of the opportunity, both Bo and Nadia escape and ran away.
As they walk ahead, they come across a car, they sit in it and continue their journey ahead. They hear some strange noises in the neighborhood. They get down and see that an alien was dead there. At the same time, there is a big explosion in front of them. These people see that a lot of aliens were moving towards them. To save their lives, they quickly sit back in the car and run ahead. The aliens were following them. To escape from them, they notice a nearby house and take refuge in its basement to save their lives and at the same time, a very severe storm hits the area. This storm broke the whole house on top of them. It turns out that this was not a storm but an alien ship that was pulling them towards itself by breaking this house. Nadia and Bo had caught each other well but still they could not escape the alien ship and Nadia leaves Bo and starts moving towards the alien ship. Bo had just fallen from here, while the alien ship had left with Nadia. After a while, when Bo regained consciousness, he saw that his foot was badly injured. He ties a bandage on his foot and leaves here again for the US military base. Soon, he reaches the base and discovers that there are no American soldiers nearby. He had come to a nearby city while walking. Here he meets some people who were making weapons to kill these alien robots and with these weapons, they were fighting these robots. The robots were so powerful that they did not need any weapons to fight the humans. During this battle, a robot sees Bo, he hides in a place of fear. The robot approaches him, scans him, and once again departs without causing any harm. Seeing all the things here and the robot upon him, Bo began to remember a lot. He was remembering his past. As he thinks too much, his mind gets tired and he becomes unconscious. When he regains consciousness, he was in an army camp where his leg wound was also treated. In this camp, there were soldiers, civilians from the city, and some scientists who had made a lot of weapons and a very big machine to fight these aliens. This large machine or weapon was intended to destroy the alien ship belonging to those aliens. If their alien ship was destroyed, all the aliens would be killed along with it. They were talking that they know that a lot of alien robots are coming to their camp. Knowing this, Bo gets scared. He does not understand that wherever he goes, how do aliens know about his location? And why do aliens only follow him? On the other hand, everyone is also puzzled about how the aliens knew about their secret camp. Here he starts to look closely at their camp. The engineer who had developed devices to combat the aliens had also created numerous sketches of robots here. In one of these sketches, he sees that the alien has caught a human and as he sees this, he remembers everything. That how when the aliens had exploded near him, one of them had caught him and he had injected a device into Bo's body and because of this device, the aliens were able to track him, which is why the robots are not attacking him. At this time also, the robots knew about this location because of Bo. He tells them all this without any cleverness. While telling the details, he says the alien ship tracks me wherever I go, they follow because they believe there might be humans there, and they are targeting humans for elimination. Hearing this, the people of this camp wanted to kill Bo. Before they kill Bo, he says stop, don't kill me, I can be very useful to you. Look, wherever I go, aliens will follow me with their alien ship. Now, you should take this alien machine with me instead of carrying your big machine and follow the alien ship as they come to me dragging me. We will all attack the alien ship with this big machine and this way, the alien's work will be over. Everyone liked Bo's idea, that's why they take this machine and go out through a tunnel. While going out, they see that the alien ship was now going to a place where there were a lot of people. They wanted to reach the alien ship as soon as possible, so they took a shortcut by entering another narrow tunnel. Unfortunately, the aliens had also come after them. They first kill two of their companions and then injure a third companion. To save his other companions from the aliens, the leader of his group kills two aliens with his big machine but he sees that the entire army of aliens was now coming after him. Their injured companion says you all leave as soon as possible, I will face them. They leave this tunnel with Bo with that big machine and start heading towards the alien ship. There were a lot of robots in the tunnel and that girl throws a grenade here without caring about her life which destroys all the aliens and unfortunately, that girl also dies. Bo and his companions go near the alien ship and see that the aliens have captured all the people. Now they couldn't attack the aliens in the presence of humans. So Bo, who is a soldier gets an idea and attacks an alien with a bomb. Because of this, everyone gets a chance to run away from here. Seeing this, the alien ship started attacking these people with small bombs these bombs were also hitting humans. With this bomb, their big machine with the help of which they could destroy the alien ship, also breaks down. The engineer sees that the battery of that machine has run out and at this time he felt that his mission would fail because there was no electricity source here. At the same time, Bo recalls how when a man attempted to kill him with an electric shock, the man himself died. 
He now realizes that the device fitted in him by the aliens has given him the power to pass electricity. Thinking this, he quickly goes to the machine made by humans. There was also a robot near that machine. He puts his hand on the robot. The robot's current hits Bo but Bo, bearing all this pain gives energy to that machine with his other hand. As it gets the energy, this machine gets activated. A lot of energy comes out of it which goes up and destroys the alien ship. Bo destroyed the alien ship, enduring all the pain and harnessing the energy of the aliens. As the ship was destroyed, the robots here were also destroyed. Because of Bo, they were able to defeat the aliens. Everyone celebrates their victory together.